Hi, this is Bupinder Tube. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use Combo Box. Combo Box is one of my favorite way of showing information so that user could select between a range of information that we have. And also we can use this to gather the information from a range of cells in our Excel. So from my previous exercise, I shown you how to create a button and assign a command to it in this I will use the same button but for a different purpose so as always go to the developer tab then you go to visual basics by double clicking this opens so the first step we want to do is try click here and then click on insert user form in the user form you go with the label which is this one just put it there change its caption to select because we want the user to know that he needs to select or she needs to select and then we need to select the combo box which is this one so you put a combo box there jobs almost done and we want them to say okay once they are finished selecting the person they want and also for the common button I want to change the caption to make it easier to people to understand so I put OK then we can double click on OK this command for OK appears and we need to create another sub and call it private sub user form underscore any share lies and close so we want to initialize this user form to populate the combo box that we created. Make a note of the name of the combo box. It's important. It's called combo box one. And we need to go back to our spreadsheet and select a range of data. I would like to select E21 to E23 on sheet two. So go back to the code and we here type in combo box one dot list because it's gonna be a list is equals to work sheets to access all the sheets and it's what's called sheet two close then we, not, we need to go to a range in sheet 2 it was E21 to E23 if I recall correctly dot value so we want all the values from there so this will initialize the user form and it will fill the name of the people from that range in that sheet but in order to activate the user form we need to go to the module 1 we assign already yellow command to the command uh, on that sheet so we need to hide this one now make it into a comment and we need to activate the user form so if you type in user form one dot show as simple as that show and then we go back to the user one and then we know when the person select ok we want there will be a message message box and the message box we will say you have selected the name of that person that I've selected which would be combo box one dot text as simple as that close enter and now if you go back to the spreadsheet and we go to sheet one where the button is if you select the button two this should work yeah as you can see user form is activated and there is a select and we can select from the combo and these three guys are entered here so I select myself because I'm selfish and I go with boop in the tube <laughs> and then I select OK and I get a message saying you have selected boop in the tube as simple as that guys i hope you now learn how to use combo box in vba excel if you did learn and it was useful please don't forget to subscribe and watch my other tutorials on excel on my youtube channel 
I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.